Hello, you are welcome. How to solve this my exponent problem in Roman square root? From here, we can write this again as 5 raised to the power half, same thing as square root of 5, then raised to the power x, then minus a as well, 2 raised to the power half, then raised to the power x equals to 21. And from here, since this power multiplies, this becomes 5 raised to the power x over 2, then minus. Here we also have 2 raised to the power x over 2 equals to 21. And from here, when we raise this to the power 2 over 2, here is still the same thing as what we have before because 2 over 2 here is 1. So same thing here, let's put this as raised to the power 2 over 2 and uh, is equal to 21. From here, when we apply the law of indices and take these two inside, since you should multiply this and we leave this outside, so this will be 5 raised to the power x over 4 then raised to the power 2 minus into bracket 2 raised to the power x over 4 here as well then raised to the power 2 equals to 21 then in the next step we can use a letter to represent 5 raised to the power x over 4 so let m be equals to 5 raised to the power x over 4 and n be equals to 2 raised to the power x over 4. Then this equation then becomes m square minus n square equals to 21. And from here we have difference of two squares here, which is now m plus n multiplied by m minus n equals to 21 here. We can write that as 7 times 3. And from here, n plus n greater than n, n minus n. So that means n plus n here will be 7. So we have n plus n here to equal to 7. And n minus n here equal to 3. So when we solve these two equations now, to get n and n, so let's add first. And this will be 2n. So n will have been eliminated. So we have 7 plus 3, that's 10. And divide both sides by 2 from here. 2 cancel out here. We have m equals to 10 over 2, that's 5. So m is 5. Then from one of these equations here, we have m plus n equals to 7. That means 5 plus n equals to 7. Take 5 there. So it means here that n equals to 7 minus 5. That is n equals to 2 from here. So we have n equals 2 and m equals 5. And from here, let's put it here as m equals to 5. That is, and n equals to 2. Then recall that we represented m as. 5 raised to the power x over 4. So it means here m will now be 5 raised to the power x over 4, which is equal to 5, and also 5 raised to the power 1. Then, same way here, we have n to be 2 raised to the power x over 4, which is equal to 2, and that's 2 raised to the power 1. Here we have same base, that's x over 4 is equal to 1. Same thing here, we have same base as x over 4 equals to 1. So when we cross multiply here, that means x equals to 4 times 1, which is 4. Similarly here, cross multiply x equals to 4 times 1, which is 4. So in you know, the two way, we have x equals to 4. And from here, what you are given, let's check to confirm that. We have x to be equals to 4 from what we have. 
Here we have root x root 5 raised to the power x minus root 2 raised to the power x. Now we have x equal to 4. So let's substitute here now. And from here this becomes root 5 raised to the power 4. And then minus root 2 raised to the power 4 is equal to 21 from here. Then root 5 same thing as 5 raised to the power half. Then raised to the power 4 minus 2 raised to the power half. Then raised to the power 4. Is it equal to 21 from here? Then, since this power multiplies 2 here 1, 1, 2 here 2, and 2 times 1, that's 2. 5 raised to the power 2 here minus also 2 here 1, 2 here 2. That's 2 raised to the power 2. And uh, is it equal to 21? And from here, this is 25. 5 times 5 minus here 2 times 2. Raised to power 2, that's 2 times 2, that's 4. And from here, 25 minus 4, that's 21, which is equal to 21. Left hand side equals to right hand side. Hence, we can conclude that x equals to 4 satisfies the given problem. And thank you for watching. Don't forget the steps. Subscribe for more exciting videos. Turn on the notification bell. Share this video and give it a thumbs up. And then put your comment in the comment section. See you next class and bye for now.